Hello. Hello. How are you? Great. What's going on? Not much. All right. What's your name? I'm Sanki Angel. Yeah, I'm Thomas. Nice to meet you, Thomas. <laughs> what are you up to today? Well, you know, I got to go to Hollywood. I have a mohawk made out of glass, as you can see. Oh, wow. I have jewels and gems and stones. So a lot of people, they stop. I get to meet different people because it draws people in. These pieces represent the broken, mm -hmm. the brokenness of all of us that we all have. Mm -hmm. We all are a reflection of each other. Yeah. So if somebody say, you're this, or they look at me wrong, I just, you know, let them know I'm a reflection of you, yeah. you know? So do you believe in psychics? Um. To some degree, I guess you could say so. I was asking you because I'm actually a psychic. Really? Mm hmm Wow. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm not, Don't play I'm with not. me now. I'm not. I feel like your grandpa's with you. Wait a minute. Come again? I feel like your grandfather is watching over you, and I feel that he's with you. Wait a minute. Did he have a mustache? I see, like, a mustache. What? Now, don't you start freaking me out back here like that, because <laughs> I'm about to make a new exit. <laughs> it's about to be a new, a new sunroof in here. Don't, don't, don't you do that to me. It's too much. This is too much. This is too much. He was a pastor. He was so hard on me. I'm transgender, mm -hmm. so um, coming up from Alabama, he was really on my case about being a man and being masculine, and I bothered him. It's been a lot of hurt. But you did have a part of you that looked up to him or admired yes. him? Yes. You That's had, like, crazy. a respect for him? <laughs> yes. He is telling me that, were you named after him in the family? Yes. Yeah, it's interesting, though, because I just feel there was a lot of pressure when you were born and that name was put on you. It was like, you have to be like him. You right. have to be, you know. It the, was. Mm -hmm. It was almost like they wanted me to be a carbon copy of who yeah. he was. Yeah. That's why I changed my name. He is telling me that this is all stuff that he was oblivious to in life but he's telling me that he's sorry. He accepts you for who you are now. Oh my God. It's okay that you change your name. Is that like really what you heard? Yeah. Like for real? Yeah. Like... He's telling me that he loved you. Back in Alabama, you're either male or female. It was very difficult, and I don't even know how I made it through. I really don't. don't, you look don't you look and now, after Thomas told me how grandfather feels, it's freeing, very freeing to hear someone who looked down upon you for half of your life, you know, to tell you, look, I don't have no problem with you. I see you as who you are. I understand your name change. I understand all of that. Go live. This is something that's gonna stick with me for the rest of my life.